Hey, Divi Nation, thanks for dropping by our documentation to learn all about Divi's button module. So the button module is incredibly powerful, versatile, flexible, and just really important. There's a few things on your website that you definitely want people to engage with, but your buttons are definitely one of those things. And so we've created a module that allows you to create gorgeous, highly engageable buttons. Uh, we're gonna show you in this video how to add those to your site, and of course, how to customize them so that they look and feel really fun and engaging. Check it out. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of Divi's button module. The button module makes it extremely easy to add a button to any part of any of your web pages. And with all of the settings that come within the module, it makes it really easy to go ahead and get a great looking button with just a few clicks. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a closer look at the button module. And I'm going to be going over the settings as well as showing you how easy it is to actually deploy one on your site. Let's get started. As you can see, I have a travel package page where I'm featuring some travel packages with a button that allows the user to click to read more or find out more about this certain item. This is a this is a fairly common way to use the button module. And in addition to that, you can also create custom call to actions. Um, there is a call to action module, but sometimes you need, you know, more flexibility. And, you know, if you just want to add a button at the bottom of a section, you can do that easily with this button module. And that's what I'm doing here. If I scroll down, you can see another button being used in a custom call to action here at the bottom of the page. So let's go ahead and jump in and get a closer look at the settings. I'm going to go ahead and deploy my visual builder. And I'm going to go ahead and show you just how easy it is to add a button module to your page. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this section here. And I'm going to delete this button module. And to add one, I simply go to the place that I want to add it, click on the add new module, find the button module, click on it. And then I can go ahead and add my button text. As you can see, I don't see anything yet because I haven't entered any text. I'm just going to enter read more. Now that design looks significantly different from this one, obviously, because we're going to go ahead and make those design changes from within the design tab. After we put in our button text, we can go to the link section here and under the link section, you see a button URL. This will be the URL where you want the user to be redirected when they click on your button. So, I'm just going to put in a symbol there for now. The URL opens option gives you the ability to choose, you know, if you want that button to open up your new URL in, a, in the same window or in a new tab. I want to keep it in the same window, so I'm going to leave it there. The design tab now allows me to create more of our design settings. The alignment of the button, uh, by default, it's going to just stay this left aligned here. But if I wanted to center it, I could do that. I'm going to keep it to its default. The text area here allows me to toggle on and off this dark and light version of my button. Um, if this was a dark background, you would be able to see the 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 light version of the button. But to get an idea what that would look like, you can see it here. Continuing on, let's go back and put it to our dark. Now here is where most of your customizations will take place. Right now we're using a default version of our button and it's pulling in the styles that we set forth in our theme customizer. The green here is actually the color that I have set in my global accent color within my theme customizer. And so 
this allows you to you know create buttons uh, a lot quicker by default but if you're wanting to create a more custom version of your button and override those settings in the theme customizer you can go ahead and toggle this to yes and then go and make your changes for starters I'm gonna go ahead and change my button text color to a custom color here it's gonna be a dark color and I'm gonna go ahead and give my border or keep my border with the same and give my button letter spacing here put it to four pixels I'm going to change my font to Oswald give it a bold weight change my font style to uppercase and I'm going to change my button icon color to this arrow here and the last thing I'm going to do is change my hover background color to transparent. And now when I hover over my button, you'll see it matches the rest of my site. Actually, I can see that one more change needs to be made, and that is I need to change my border on hover. So my button hover border color needs to match. And there you go. Let's continue on. After we've got all our button styles set, we can also add some custom margin or padding around our button if we needed to, along with adding some, you know, box shadow behind it to give it some depth if we if we wanted to. And of course, add some animation to make it pop. And as with all of our modules, you can go over to the advanced tab and you can target this button using an X time using an external style sheet and giving it some unique CSS IDs and classes here. You can also add some custom CSS to the main element here to style this button. Because it is a button, you have this option of selecting a button relationship, which is a good idea if you, if you need to do that. And also the visibility can be disabled on phone, tablet, and desktop going to go ahead and save this out. And that's your overview of the button module.